I, I'm literally hanging out with my live stream, guys. We're watching the end of this uh, Alabama-Texas game. Uh, Texas calling a timeout. Say what's up, chat. <laughs> um, I'm actually doing a live stream for the uh, Tennessee at Pitt game, but we're watching this game. So there's a timeout. Texas leads Alabama 19 to 17. Alabama is driving, trying to get in field goal range. 35 seconds left. It is first and 10. Bryce Young in the shotgun. Oh, almost gets sacked. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, and he's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. You shoulda. Oh man. That missed tackle might have cost you the game. Good for thought, though. Uh, there, there have been some some points left on the board. Uh, Texas missed a field goal going into halftime. That's three points. The safety was not called. Bryce Young, no, he was not down. He was not down, but that was intentional grounding. That's a safety. So keep that in mind. That, that five points have been uh, left on the board from Texas. One of them was their fault. It was blocked. But the safety, which is looming large right now, that was taken off the board. And who knows what happens if that, if, that, uh, if that call stands as a safety. We have 24 seconds left. This one, I, did, I was not expecting. Was not ex By the way, still hanging out with the live show. There you go. We were in a live stream uh, number 24 Tennessee at number 17 Pitt. Should be a good game. But I, I have to watch the end of this game before I start live streaming that or switch channels i should say 24 seconds left it is second and 10 alabama honestly it looks like they're setting up for a last second field goal maybe taking a couple shots i don't know but this this is going to come down to a last second field goal i will say a cheap shot on quinn ewers the starting quarterback of texas this could have been a different ball game if he stays healthy hudson Carr gutting out an injury uh he basically he has a bum leg but uh, a, a decent a decent showing bryce young not a terrible game, but not, not one of his best. It's the defenses that have shined, except for this last uh, series. Texas had a shot to end the game with a sack on Bryce Young, and they just couldn't get him. 19 seconds left. Alabama driving another, another completion down to the 15, and we're down to 15 seconds. And what it looks like now is that Alabama is going to be setting up for a last second field goal, and we are at fourth down. This is going to be the game, basically. Um, I know Texas will get a chance to run it back if Alabama makes this, but, man, I, you, you got to feel bad for Texas if he makes this. You, you got to feel bad for him. So they're lining up. Uh, Texas has two timeouts, so I'm expecting them to call a timeout. We'll see. Uh, down to uh, did they? Yeah, they got it in timeout. And remember, the last time these two teams played was for the national championship. All right, it looks like they're going to set up for a kick. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like it's good. Yep, it's good. Bama goes up by one. Ten seconds left. Man. Hmm. So the field goal is good, and they're lining up for uh, the kickoff. I'm not sure if Texas will try to field this or just give their offense as much time possible. Crazy things have happened, guys. Crazier things have happened. So let's uh, let's see if Texas can pull off a miracle here in the end. Man, this is uh, here's the thing. Hope if you're a Texas fan, you gotta hope that this game doesn't do to you what the Oklahoma loss did to you last last year remember they played a close game against oklahoma probably should have won that game but they ended up losing and they go on a five game losing streak so and texas is going to take it out he's trying to make a play up the middle five seconds left that that was a decent run back not gonna lie that was a decent run back this is going to be texas uh last gasp basically um they got five seconds left most likely the last play of the game on their own 24 it looks like uh, I expect to see some trickery. Hudson Card did did avoid the rush. Uh, I think it's incomplete. Yep, incomplete. Alabama does win. Uh, good sportsmanship shown by Alabama helping the helping the players up. Man, man. Um, you know that this was a good showing by Texas, and you could say, is Texas close to being back? Okay, but the but the key is. They have to avoid 
what they did last year. Remember, they were very, very close to beating Oklahoma. They should have beaten Oklahoma, but they didn't. And they go on a five-game winning streak. Are we going to be looking back at this game and, and, and realize, man, this game stuck in their head mentally, and they lost this. Why did they lose this game? I mean, honestly, after this game, you look at why should they lose a game, another game in the season, because they, they just hung in there with the number one team in the nation, Alabama, who's supposed to be, uh, you know, one of their better teams. And then if Texas goes on and, and picks up a couple of losses in the future, it's just – that that's that comes down to coaching. You have as a coach, you have to somehow, some way, be able to get that out of their heads. So we'll see if Texas can avoid doing what they did last year and letting one team beat them over and over and over and over. Last year, Oklahoma beat Texas at least six times. Seriously, at least six times. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if they'll be able to keep this out of their heads and beat teams that they're supposed to beat. Now, I will say this. Quinn Ewers is injured, so that might play a factor into it as well. And, yes, that was a cheap shot. I don't care who you are, Alabama fan, Texas fan, neutral fan, doesn't matter. That was a cheap shot on Quinn Ewers, and this absolutely would have been a different game. And I'm not saying that Texas would have 100% won, uh, guaranteed. No, nothing like that. But what I'm saying is Texas would have scored more points, and Alabama was not moving the ball very well. So maybe it does equal a win for Texas but don't hang your heads, Texas fans. This was a good showing. Your, your starting quarterback went down on a cheap shot. Your backup hung in there. You had a chance to win there, uh, there at the end. Really, you were a sack away from winning this game. I think if Texas holds on to Bryce Young in the backfield and they sack him on that one play, then the game's basically over. I know there's probably going to be a few plays. I think it was third down, so maybe just one play left. But him getting away and getting that first down, that was basically getting into field goal range. And then after that, Bama would just, uh, you know, uh, nickel and diamond yards to get closer and closer. And, of course, the game-winning field goal. Congratulations for, for Alabama. You won the game. Congratulations to Texas. Y'all y'all really uh, had a good showing here. Bad officiating, too. My gosh, bad officiating. Going back to that safety, uh, at first they called it uh, roughing the passer and targeting, which that was stupid. He wasn't even down. And then they went back. They didn't call, uh, you know, that he was down, or they didn't call the intentional grounding. They thought he was down, even though clearly he was on the back of an Alabama player. That baffled me. Uh, the referee got in front of everybody. Uh, miscommunication. Uh, they told me the wrong thing. So he didn't, uh, you know, accept any accountability on that. Blamed it on on other refs and and other people. So. Uh, the, the SEC, Big 12, whatever officiating crew this is, they need to look into this, and there needs to be some fines and possibly some firings. This was horrible. These refs were on a national stage, and they, they pulled a big, big goof. That's one of the worst officiated games that I've seen in my entire life. Now, and, and they didn't just cheat for Alabama. No, it was on both sides of the ball. But there were some crucial calls that, that really affected the game, and, and the safety is going to be talked about for a while. That was a safety. No, Bryce Young was not down, okay? That's not what I'm saying. But that was intentional grounding. And intentional grounding in the end zone is a safety. It should have been a safety. But as is, Alabama pulls out a squeaker of a win, 20-19 over Texas. <laughs> and this is why the SEC tries to limit road games uh, for their teams. That Look at Alabama last year on the road. Barely beat Florida by two. Lost to Texas A&M. And then they barely beat, uh, what was Auburn, in overtime. The only good game on the road that they had was Mississippi State 49-9. This is why the SEC does not like to go on the road. They want to limit any chances of getting upset. Now, Alabama did come out with the win, but only a one-point win. So they, they, were definitely, they were definitely on upset alert. That's what I was trying to say. They, they were definitely on upset alert. And Texas had a shot, just couldn't pull through. Great game. Do not hang your head, Texas fans, uh, much better than what I was thinking you would do. Plenty of videos coming, including a live show right now. We're going to switch over to number 24, Tennessee, at number 17, Pitt. So come join us. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already.